The Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game has over 10,000 unique cards for players to collect, trade, and construct their own personal decks. But what would happen if players only had access to the bare minimum? In this series, both the RJB0 and myself will each open a very select amount of sealed product. Once we open that product, we must build a deck using only those specific cards pulled, that's it. And at the end of each episode, we discard the entirety of our pulls to the the graveyard and start from scratch with a new product. Every card counts. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed Showdown. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, Duelist packs are back on Sealed Showdown. And as we know from the past, this can go one of two ways. This is gonna be one of the best episodes we've ever filmed or the worst, but it is synchros, so there's something there. But let's get into it. 30 packs, there are two big synchros we were looking to get. We did not get it in our first pack. Stronghold Guardian's a weird card. It's like a 1500 defender that can boost something else's defense by 1500. Pretty terrible card in all honesty. Not really a lot of great cards in this first pack. So there's an Effect Veiler, not a terrible card. I don't know how useful Effect Veiler's effect is going to be. I think it may just be better as a tuner if I'm being honest. Bry Synchron's very important just because it's like a level four tuner and that could be relevant. And I swear to you, there is Majestic Stardust Dragon in this set. I have not ruled out the possibility of going that route because Stardust Xiaolong is one of the materials we need to make it. I think that may be the meta potentially just because of the way this set looks, but we'll have to see. Well, folks, it is time for our third and final Duelist Pack You Say episode. Uh, these have been going a little downhill since the first one, I'm not going to lie. And I'm really interested to see how we develop a strategy in Duelist Pack You Say 3 because uh, the, the stuff to work with is uh, low powered to say the least. I'll show you what I mean when we get into the packs. Uh, Shield Wing and Starlight Road. Starlight Road, a very good card in most situations, but there is nothing that procs it here. Power Frame, however, at common is one of the cards we really want to be looking out for because this is the one way that we have to reliably contest Synchro Monsters. We also have Stronghold Guardian, which might come up, although our defense lineups are uh, hilariously low. Sonic Chick actually has a combo with it because a 1900 or higher can't destroy Sonic Chick and Stronghold Guardian makes it 1800 defense. I'll think about whether or not that's worth it. Pack numero dos, a second power frame is very important. Cards of Consonance is hilarious because unless we go for the Majestic Star Dragon combo, there is actually no way that we're going to have a tuner in our deck to discard off of it. Stardust Zhao Long is great for that combo and we do have our full play set of power frames as of this pack. So as far as commons, go i'm i'm pretty set pack number three we have dash warrior which is pretty good i want to say battle waltz is actually a genuinely good card let's take a look target one synchro monster you control special summon one waltz token with the current type attribute and level and attack and defense of that monster neither player takes battle damage from attacks involving this token battle waltz is very good if we get a synchro onto the board to that end, we also got a Drill Synchron. Uh, Drill Warrior is our best Synchro by a fair shot in here. This pack is actually all good cards. So Shield Wing is particularly annoying in this set because it means that it can't be killed by battle twice each turn. So it's gonna be just hard for us to clear this. Dash Warrior is not a terrible card. AD Changer is a way to out Shield Wing. In theory, we could get a bunch of monsters onto the field and then AD Changer a Shield Wing to attack and then just try to hit for game. But the problem is the attack stats of our monsters aren't gigantic. Starlight Road is typically a good card, but the problem is there isn't really any cards that blow up two or more cards. So I'm not really convinced that this is gonna be playable. And Blind Spot Strike is actually a very good card, but the issue is, is that cards like Shield Wing and other things that can't be killed by battle like once per turn exist. So that limits how good this card possibly can be. Now there's Zhao Long, so if we want to go down that strat, that is something that's still on the table. Power Frame's a nice little card. Again, it gives a monster attack points, but again, with all these like defenders that are just hard to kill in battle and no real hard removal, this is going to be the problem of this set for sure. 
And that rounds out the effect Veiler playset. Another AD changer. I'm happy to see this. It is a common, but this is a very important common. So uh, sometimes it's Shield Showdown. We don't get them. Xiao Long, Shield Wing. I think we have pretty much play sets of those. Only uh, 23 packs left to go. We need the Synchros. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. Next pack, another Cards of Consonance. Cards of Sacrifice is an interesting one. It's kind of a jar of greed, but... If you have less attack than, uh, if your monsters have less attack than your opponent's monsters, you can't summon or change the battle positions of monsters that turn. So uh, a little bit weird, but you can use it during your opponent's turn. Oh, you have to have two. Oh, we'll see. Uh, AD Changer, also very important. Although I think Drill Warrior is probably not going to stick around on the field long enough for that to matter. Next one. Ooh, Effect Veiler is a very, very strong card here. And we get it at rare. Glad to see this one. Again, this is one of our ways of outing Drill Warrior, which we incidentally have not pulled any copies of yet. Oh, a Dragon Knight Draco Aquist. So this is a card I can actually see us running if we go into the Majestic Stardust pack. Uh, if we get Majestic Star and we can go into Stardust, this is like an alternate way for us to go for a win condition. We can go for the Stardust and instead of using it with Majestic Star Dragon, we could use Polymerization to summon Draco Aquis. Now, in order to do that, we have to run a lot of bricks, but an interesting thought. Do like the other Drill Synchron, another Battle Waltz is interesting, and a Shield Wing and Double Cyclone are both very strong. These cards actually in combo could be very good. Pack number seven, there's the Majestic Star Dragon. This is very, very important because if we go for the Majestic Star Dragon package, we can use Stardust, which unlocks Draco Aquist and allows us to use this very funny card that I absolutely will try to go for if we can. Another Dash Warrior is great. A Blind Spot Strike is also strong. Next pack, there it is. Drill Warrior, the most important card in the set. We really, really want to be pulling this card so that we can get our beats on. I think the strat in this set might honestly just be attack with Drill Warrior, discard pass, uh, and hope that you can wall out your opponent because I don't really think there are many outs to Drill Warrior if it keeps dodging. Uh, this is also my play set of double cyclones, which is great. Next pack, another Starlight Road isn't ideal. This is my first second booster. We do want to be seeing as many of this as possible because this is our like ideal combat trick, second only to Power Frame. Okay, ask and you shall receive. Thank you, Drill Warrior being a rare. So Drill Warrior's nice, but again, the issue is with all of these things that can't be killed by battle without being attacked multiple times, it limits how good a card like this can be. Now, to be fair, it's still Drill Warrior. So at the end of the day, it's probably gonna be the main game plan and maybe like going for the Majestic Stardust Dragons like the secondary plan. We'll have to see, but I'm happy to have at least one Drill Warrior. And there's a second Drill Warrior and a second Bry Synchron. That's pretty good. I just realized I don't have Drill Synchron yet. So that's gonna be a problem if we wanna play this. Big Big one warrior. Uh, this card I do not think is very good, although it does take up the super rare slot. I think it just like special summon itself if you like pitch a level one, but it's not good. Boost Warrior as our super rare in this pack. Uh, not a terrible card. It's okay, but I don't really know how good this is going to be. It really depends. Next one, there's all of our drill synchrons, another Stardust Zhao Long, and another second booster. Very, very good. Next pack, there's a second effect Veiler. We love to see it. And another AD changer and another blind spot strike. Our staples are coming out really, really well in the first half. Next pack, uh, we are full up on pretty much everything here. Desperate tag is an interesting one I will be looking into. Next one, there's our third effect Veiler. We are full up on effect Veilers now. And so we are just looking for a couple more of the synchros so that we get more of the synchro materials. And then of course, some of the hollows that are in this set. Flip one, there's one of them, big one warrior, probably the weaker out of the super rares because it just does not have stats. You'll notice that all of the monsters in this set are severely weak. Last pack of the first half, there's a second Drill Warrior. We love to see it because if we lose the first one, this is our way into another. There's a fourth Effect Veiler, excellent. We are full up on AD Changers, which is something that we want, and I think we're full up on Stardust Zhao Longs, which I like. Next one, another card of Sacrifice. Okay, uh, there's another Sonic Chick. I want to say that's the first one I've seen in a while. A thing I'm noticing here is that Drill Synchron is one of two threes that we have in the set, the other three being second booster, which means that summoning Drill Warrior may actually be a slightly sketchy prospect. Next pack, there's a third Drill Warrior. Happy to see that. 
Okay, so we're halfway through the opening. That's our third drill warrior, but the problem is we still don't have drill synchron yet until this very pack, and I just see it here as the very far left card. It is a common, actually. I feel like I haven't seen drill synchron up to this point. I'm gonna have to check, but that may be our only one. Hopefully we get two more in the last half. Another ultra rare, Justice Bringer. The cool thing about Justice Bringer is that it's a 1700 normal summon, which this set, most of the cards just suck. So this is a nice way that you can just contest everything aside from like a drill warrior, but it's an ultra, so it's pretty hard to pull. Thankfully, we pulled this and a couple of Bry Synchrons, which are also quite big. So we're getting pretty lucky with the Ultras. I am a bit nervous, though. I think we still only have one Drill Synchron. Pack number 26. There's a Bree Synchron or Bry Synchron. This is one of the hollows we really, really want. It is a four, which makes it much easier to go into Stardust for Majestic Star. And it has 1500 attack, which is very, very strong. All right, pack number 27. We're still looking for a second copy of Majestic Star Dragon so that we are more likely to be able to go into it with a Majestic Dragon because that card just isn't in the set. So we need to use the named rule in order to do it. Uh, the Synchro Gift. Oh, boy. Last pack. Can we get the Majestic Star Dragon? We did. Okay. So we can run two Majestic Dragon, which means Majestic Star Dragon is a possibility for us. And I do really want to make that. It also means that we have more capability to go into Stardust with our Draco Equist, which I think genuinely might be the strat if we have access to it. We would need to get a two and a three in addition to a Drill Synchron or two twos or some combination thereof with the Bry Synchron in order to be able to do it, but I think it's something we're capable of in here. Let's see what we can make of this. Well, there's the Majestic Star Dragon if we want to actually play the uh, strat that I was mentioning earlier, so I'm happy to have this, but still no Drill Synchron. Okay, thank God. Pack 23, 24, and we get our second Drill Synchron. I can probably make do with two. I would like to have three, but obviously sometimes it just happens. And there we go, third Drill Synchron. Okay, came through for us here, five packs left. We can probably just go through these because I think we've pulled almost every card at this point. And I don't think there's really much else to talk about. Second Majestic Star, we'll probably just have that in the extra just in case. Another Justice Bringer, that's four Ultras, I think. And those are those could be very game determinative. So I'm very happy that we pulled those. Second to last pack, nothing too crazy. And our last pack, didn't get anything crazy either. So overall, I think we actually did quite well, but this is gonna be a very strange episode. So let's get to building. Oh, this is uh, <laughs> of the most suspect episodes we've had so far. This one might top the charts. This might even rival Aster Phoenix for not giving us win conditions. You will notice that in this deck, we have a grand total of one monster with over a thousand attack points, and that's Bry Synchron. Really, the only way to be winning games reliably in this set is to be making Drill Warriors and getting rid of your opponent's Drill Warriors, and that is what we will aim today, folks. So let's get into the card by card, but before I do that, the other thing that I want to do that I think is a little bit unique in here is I am going to be trying to go for either Majestic Star Dragon or Draco Aquist. And I think I'm only going to get one of those per game. So I am only running the one Stardust Dragon per the named materials rule. I'm rending the second in the side deck with a second Majestic Dragon in case I want to index into that more. I think that if we can get a Stardust Dragon with a polymerization uh, out or a Stardust Dragon with the capability to go into Majestic Star Dragon, A, that's just cool. Uh, and B, I think that that's potentially extremely strong. So I think it is worth trying for in this deck. So that's the secondary win condition, so to speak. First, we have our three AD changers. This is going to be our pre premier battle trick. This is going to be important for discarding for things like our big one warrior, but it's also important to be able to normal summon it in order to get our drill warriors into rotation. Remembering that card breaker is one of our best ways to do synchro summoning in this series. You can just send one of your spell traps to the graveyard in order to summon it from your hand. So if we can do that, then we can get one drill synchron onto the board and get an AD changer in rotation. Then we are going to be Gucci gang. One big one warrior. This card special summons itself from the hand by discarding a one, which we have many of. Our Bry synchron is just the best card in our deck. It's just got 1500 attack and that's good enough, but it's also one of our best ways of getting Stardust Dragon into rotation. If we can normal summon a Stardust Zhao Long with a three going and a Bry synchron, well, then we have, we, we, we got ourselves a game. We've got our card breakers. We've got our triple dash warrior, our other best card in the set. It gains 1,200 attack. It goes to 1,800. This thing is crazy. Three Drill Synchron. This gets us 
listen to our drill warrior and remember that that is our win condition in this deck we've got double effect failure effect failure is good against dash warrior and against drill warrior but it's not ideal to get into your hand if you don't have one of those to contend with and as i was pairing down cards i figured this was probably going to be the least proactive card for us to have in our deck and so i did cut it down to two we've got our one majestic dragon for the memes triple second booster this is one of our other big combat tricks one stardust Zhao long to help us go into our stardust dragons and our majestic star one three stronghold guardian this card is just generally good if you have monsters in defense position it makes them basically unoutable because of the attack stats that these monsters have we've got double battle waltz in our spell traps this card is extremely win more but again it is difficult to close out games if i can summon a drill warrior and summon a battle waltz token then we will just have all the pressure that we need in order to win the match so i do want to run two of this card and there's a card later on that's going to help us get into all of these two ups that we have double blind spot strike this is only going to be good if we can ad changer a monster and at that point our opponent can just stronghold guardian and do that whole song and dance so i don't think this card is that good however if we can bait out some stronghold guardians and hold on to like our one copy that we see in a game i think that's strong triple double cyclone this card is just good against things like power frame and desperate tag which are going to be crucial cards in our combo we've got the double desperate tag the triple power frame one polymerization to go into draco Aquis because it's funny and our three card of sacrifice i underestimated the power of this card in this set exactly i think that this card is extremely likely to go off because of the ability to get multiple monsters onto the board in that set we have things like desperate tag we have card breaker we just have a bunch of things that are good for getting multiple monsters onto the board and because all the monsters in the set are so dinky this card kind of turns into just pot of greed and pot of greed is a good card so i think card of sacrifice is going to be worth running in the set even though it's a really weird card to be playing our side deck is just everything i wasn't going to run in the main deck and there's not a lot to explain about that this is it <sighs> So initial impressions, this episode's probably gonna be a disaster, but who knows, it's possible. Maybe we'll see Majestic Star Dragon hit the field. So going through the card by card, I really don't have like a lot of strategy here. Realistically, I wasn't even able to fill up the rest of my side deck because I didn't even think it was worth playing any other card besides the, what, 53 cards that you see here. So that's what we're doing. So I'll try to do my best. Uh, let's start with AD Changer. Very strong card because it can change battle positions, which means something like Shield Wing actually is an attack and very vulnerable to being able to deal a lot of damage. Then we have Big One Warrior, which can special summon itself by pitching another level one, which we are playing several of, AD Changer, uh, Effect Baylor, even something like Zhao Long could go for this as well. We have Boost Warrior, that's another level one, which actually has some good synergy. We could go like Drill Synchron, Special Summon Card Breaker, Special This, and that's a Drill Synchron, so that's pretty good. We have two Bry Synchron, which is a level four tuner, so any level two uh, tuner, or non-tuners rather, this would be good uh, for a level six if uh, this didn't require drill synchron unfortunately but this is just a neat little card it can boost a synchro but honestly it's just a 1500 attack which is pretty big for this format card breaker is just a special summon for a level two dash warrior can go up to 1800 attack when it attacks which might be relevant triple drill synchron because this is like actually a good card same thing goes for three effect Valor. this is relevant because for all the things that can't be killed in battle we can Valor in main phase and then actually hit over them so that'll be quite good two justice bringer this is amazing because this is 1700 on a normal summon which looking at the the rest of this deck is actually quite good three second booster just uh as a way to basically have more monsters and uh, i guess being able to go into like drill synchron we need more threes so that's a bit awkward but we do have to play it the three shield wing one jiao long i'm not all in on this i've got two more on the side but if it comes up maybe i'll try it and then we have the three stronghold guardian this card's kind of neat because it can actually protect something that's in defense mode and so maybe that could be relevant for trying to go for a synchro push we'll have to see though then for the spells three blind spot strike Again, this could be relevant, but it really just depends on like what we're actually trying to deal with. If Drill Warrior is like tagging out, I guess it's hard to kill, but at the same time, that actually is quite funny because then we could actually maybe hit him for a ton of damage. Then we have Desperate Tag. Uh, this is actually kind of a neat card that helps us maintain board presence. And then we have three Power Frame, which is a nice little battle trick that I'm sure will definitely come up and Robert and I will somehow fuck up. Then for the side, two more Zhao Long, three cards of Consonance. This is the only target for it, so I don't think this is very good. Double Cyclone could be good if we want to maybe take out like Desperate Tag or Preemptive, we try to go for 
for Starlight Road if we're like going for the Majestic Star Dragon line, but I don't think it's very relevant. Three, Card of Sacrifice. I've never seen this card prior to filming this episode. Uh, this card sucks. We're not playing it. Uh, and then we have three Starlight Road, which is a good card, but the only thing we're really worried about is Majestic Star Dragon. But at the same time, I mean, it, it's just like, why would you play this if it's going to be like impossible to summon this anyway? We'll have to see. We've got three Drill Warrior, two Majestic Star, and two Stardust. Keep in mind, Stardust is only a vanilla. It does not have its effect. So we can, in theory, synchro a 2500 attacker. But the problem is there's a lot of battle tricks like Power Frame, Blind Spot Strike, etc. that don't make this impossible to clear. There's also like AD Changer, and this thing only has 2,000 defense. So that is still quite large, but even if we are allowed to synchro this, it's not the end of the world. So I'm excited to see what Robert came up with. It's probably like 99% the same as what I did, but the Ultra and Super ratios can definitely dictate a lot. And it's going to be weird to see how this one plays out. Probably like Drill Warrior Beatdown, but we'll have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, Robert, duel is packs. You know how this goes. It's either going to be a disaster or a disaster. So take your pick. <laughs> I'll tell you, I've done a lot of theory crafting for sealed play, Alex. Okay. I don't think there is a single bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! theory that I have ever learned that prepares me for duelist pack you say three. No. Uh, this is going to be a very frustrating episode, I feel like, uh, which is unfortunate because we've had some of the best moments of this show come out of like the Duelist packs, but we've also had a lot of the worst moments, and I think this is going to be one of those. So let's get into it. Shout out the patron, David Huss. Thank you for the support. See if we win the rock, paper, scissors. It's going to matter a lot. All right. One piece of theory I have learned. I am now using a die. And... Okay. Ah, okay. Your die is superior, I, this evidently. This is a good start to the to the church of the die. I'm going first. Okay, similar extra deck. Not that the extra deck really matters in this match, but uh, could. Oh, this is a garbage hand. Let's draw for turn. Uh, it did not get that much better. Set a monster and set... Go the, Screw it. All the back row. I mean, I don't know what you'd be afraid of in this set. Oh my buddy, what did you open that you have four I wasn't back kidding row? about all of the back yeah, row. You weren't kidding, I guess. All right, I'm going to go set one, set okay. one over to you. Okay, draw for turn. Oh God, I'm going to have to learn some rulings tonight, aren't I? It's what it's sealed showdown, buddy. There's never an episode where we don't. Yes, we flip summon dash warrior. Down. Okay, uh, let's go to battle phase. I'm going to attack into what is inevitably like your shield wing or something like that. It's not. It is my dash warrior. Hell yeah, my dash warrior wins. Does it? Because in the damage step, I can discard Stronghold Guardian to give it 1,500 defense in the damage step. <laughs> Hold up. That's got 2,700 defense to my 1,800 attack. Is that, is that correct? Yes. All right. Well, how's this one? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real card. Now, the timing of this works a little weirdly. My card resolves before yours does, but I still think I have enough attack to get over it because you're at 27 and I'm at 3,000. Because you would resolve first... Yeah. Gains attack equal to the monster's defense. You gain 12 to 3k, and I'm at 2700. Yes. Uh, this can resolve. Okay. It's and then excellent. I have another stronghold guardian. No! What are you doing? Wait, no, that still works for me because now I gain this. Does stronghold guardian activate during damage calculation? It's no, it's damage, during the damage step. step. Do you get to activate it during damage calculation, or do you have to chain it to my blind spot strike? That's an interesting question. Because if you have to chain it to my blind spot strike, the second stronghold guardian doesn't do you much. It doesn't do me any good. It just depends if I'm allowed to have a new activation here before the battle continues. Oh, I love you, Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course, it's this show where we have to do all the damage. This is like turn rulings. two and we already have to look up I rulings. <laughs> okay, I think I actually solved it. So at the start of the damage step, it says fast mm -hmm. effects that alter attack and defense can be activated. Start of the damage step, a monster has not yet been flipped face up. So if that's the case. Seems weird. Oh to no, me. it says fast effects can be activated even after it's flipped. Never mind. Never mind. 
Because in the in the before damage calc, it says it can also be activated. I didn't realize it said in multiple places. After both players have agreed that they have finished activating cards and effects in this part of the damage step, damage calc is entered. The way that's worded to me seems like you don't have to have everything activate in the same chain. Because wouldn't it specify that everything has to be like activated at once at this point? That doesn't help us at all. Yeah, I'll go with it. That all right. That, well, that's if I'm if we'll I'm wrong, the it. comments will correct us, and then you'll just win by default at this point because I think this is a pretty big swing here. So you're at 3k, I'm at 27, but then I buffed by another 15, so I'm now at 42. Yes. This is and the so fattest ass on a dash warrior of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Never has there been a 4,200 defense dash warrior in the history of this game. Yes, take your this 1,200. This is absurd. Uh, main phase two, I guess I don't really have much of a choice but to set a monster and pass. God, I love this series, don't you, buddy? It's it, amazing. It's right. truly, oh, Normal no. Normal drill synchro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why oh, I went I'm all fucked. in. That's why I went all in. I am fucked. Kill the that dash warrior. True. Okay, down goes dash warrior. I will take uh, 1,800. Yes. All right. And second main question is if I want to tag out now. There's not like a ton of removal in this set. I guess the only thing I'm like concerned with is that if you come back with like your own drill warrior potentially, that could be a problem. I think I'll I'll try it. I'll banish him. Okay, that's fine. Let me get rid of this second booster. That's a good one. And I'll pass. All right, draw for turn. Interesting. Uh, well, that doesn't, doesn't do me much good, does it? I'm going to set a monster and pass. All right. So I'll draw uh standby phase. Drill warrior comes mm -hmm. back and I get to add a monster yep. to hand. I think I want the dash warrior. Uh, I could take drill synchron as well. If I really want to try for another drill synchron, but I don't really, th or drill warrior, excuse me, but I don't really think we're there yet. So we'll just do this. Okie dokie. Uh, we'll go to main one. Now, the problem is if you have like a fucking shield worm, that's going to be really annoying. So, or shield worm, shield worm. The pro I, I hate that shield worm was a card from a previous set. So that's actually, I know that's technically actually confusing here. Uh, let's bring out dash warrior and not banish him face down. Okay. And we will go to battle. Actually, there is an argument that I just like start attacking you directly and just put a five turn clock on you. Cause like there what is are, an argument in favor of that? Cause yes. like, what are you gonna, the only way you really out that, actually there's really no way to out that because, oh, I kind of dig this plan now. I should have done that first. Oh, well, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, I'll dash warrior into the new one. It is an AD changer. Okay. Uh, and then we'll hit you for a 1200 direct. I'll take 12 direct. Okay. Second main, uh, we'll go Drill Warrior. Let's get rid of Card Breaker, fantastic card. And uh, we'll pass. All right, draw for turn. Oh, the best card in my deck. Didn't I take copies of this out? What do I do? Cry. Set a monster <laughs> and pass, yeah, Woo! I guess. Let's go. All right, Drill Warrior comes back. Yep. I get to add a monster. Uh, I'll take, hmm. How do I want? I guess I'll take Drill Synchron. Sure. Oh, this is sick. I can do it again. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yes, Woo! you can. Let's go to Drill Warriors. And these are soft once per turn, so I can just nail you with both of them. They are indeed. What a great card, man. This is great. Okay. Uh, so this will be 24 direct. Uh-huh. And then second main, I'll dump my hand. I don't give a fuck. Sure. Get him out of here. Go ahead. Ah, you got it. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was Yu-Gi-Oh, my friend. Well, you uh, you got the drill warrior. I got two <laughs> drill warriors. You did get two. I feel like once you get one drill warrior, the second one is a little bit inevitable. Yeah. I'm going to go sure. first this time. It's uh, This set sucks, too, because there isn't like a ton of hard removal. So... It's There's true. like very few things you can do about it, but best of luck, buddy. Let's uh, see what you got. Best of luck to you too. Draw for turn. Oh, that's a interesting option for us. I mean, I think I just throw down the gauntlet on this, right? No, I don't. That's that's a terrible idea. I'm gonna just set a monster and 
pass. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna throw the gauntlet, and then I was like, that loses to literally everything. We'll go to main one. I will let you rest assured, my hand is significantly worse than the first time. Excellent. Set three cards. Ooh. I think I'm just gonna pass. Alex, are you ready to see my absolute best pull? Okay. Normal summon Bry Synchro. <laughs> I mean, it's an ultra rare. This card is straight up from just like rip off from Transformers. I'm sorry. It it really or it's like just a Gundam. Like this card is just uh pretty much everything that Japanese media has taught us. This card's so to bad. To think is cool. Yeah. Uh it is I mean it's, it's a fifteen hundred. It's fifteen hundred, it which in this set is gigantic. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's go for it. Oh we have the capability. <laughs> Are you ready? Gonna make Stardust with this? Oh, crap. I will tell you, I have the Majestic Dragon and the Stardust okay. Jowlog in the deck for this. Fair, fair. <laughs> Uh, let's go to battle phase. I'll attack. It's a 2,500 vanilla Stardust. I... It is a 3,100. Oh, because of the fucking Stardust. effect. I forgot. <laughs> Brysynchron is a hell of a card. York. It's until the end of the turn, though. Okay. It That's is fine. until the end of the turn. All right. I'll draw. Yeah. Main one. Mm -hmm. How the hell am I going to deal with this? Okay, so now it's back to 25. It is back to 25. It can be beaten. I'm going to normal summon second booster and pass. I have no idea what this could mean. Not at all. I, oh, this is perfect. Oh, this couldn't be better. Normal summon dash oh, warrior. That's pretty good. Yeah. You know what doesn't have more attack than second booster on attack declaration? <laughs> that's annoying. Uh, crap. On attack deck, I will activate desperate tag. So you will get a warrior from your hand after yes. this. Yes. So second booster okay. will fall. Desperate tag triggers. I don't take damage from that attack. And I get to special summon a level four or lower from my hand. So I will bring out my own dash warrior. <laughs> oh, boy. And it's in attack position. So uh, I... Yeah, why don't you just attack, it... buddy? Why don't you see what happens? I, uh, You know, <laughs> I think maybe I will not. I will instead, I mean, I'll, I'll pass the turn, I guess. One time drill synchron, one time drill synchron. Ah, we tried. The problem is I'm gonna have to like bait all this nonsense out eventually. So I may as well just start. True. All right, I'll go to battle. Let's go yep. in your dash warrior. Uh, Yeah, I'll desperate tag this. Okay, uh, sure. I'll take the 12. You'll take zero because of desperate tag. Oh reading cards by which i mean remembering cards folks talk about us reading cards in this series you have to understand we have basically read every card printed in Yu-Gi-Oh up, up until, until this, this point, point. Correct. there's like there's a degree of like there's <laughs> there's a degree of memory that comes in here second main i will set one and pass draw for turn this is a really weird way to do this let's normal summon drill synchron battle phase that is fine. I will attack into Dash Warrior with Drill Synchron. That is frustrating because uh, not really much I can do about that. Yeah, so I'll desperate tag this for Card Breaker. Interesting. Okay, uh, and then I will attack into your face down with Stardust. It is AV Changer. Oh, I should have attacked that with the Drill Synchron. Got a hot draw off yeah. of it. Uh, your go. We'll draw. I think that is good enough. I will set one. I sadly have to put Card Breaker to defense, and I will pass. Okay. Draw four turn. That's Actually, I couldn't even summon this Card Breaker. I, I can't even special it because it's a, it's this oh, card's so it bad. To be. What a fucking terrible card. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. It didn't change anything. All the cards in this are god awful, let me yeah. tell you. Okay. Uh, battle phase. Let's sure. attack with a Drill Synchron. I'll get greedy here. <laughs> you idiot. It is the shield oh, way. I will take 100. It wouldn't have mattered. I'm just not <laughs> taking a, a, just taking an extra 100 this turn. Main phase to you all. 
uh, set a monster and... You could have uh, attacked again with Stardust, just saying. I could have. I'll pass turn. You could have just prolonged the agony for the viewers to watch this. <laughs> um, good lord. What a bunch of garbage cards. Yeah, go ahead. Out my shield wing. Draw for turn. Man, if I were running the second Stardust Dragon here. <laughs> uh, instead, I have another idea. I am going to send my desperate tag to the graveyard to special summon a card breaker of Pretty my good. own. Pretty good. And I will synchro summon. Oh, this is the end of the game. Yep. Yep, this is this is just how it goes. This is, <laughs> is what we're doing. I love uh, that we get to highlight Drill Warrior in such a fun way, though. I, I it's true. Drill. It's really funny that like each of the Duelist Pack you say episodes, we've had one synchro monster that yeah. was just everything in yeah. that one, and this time it's Drill Warrior. I, uh, God, twice per turn. Well, I guess there's like no point to bothering with that we'll declare drill warrior sure. uh go to battle phase and attack directly just imagine how miserable this episode would have been if drill warrior couldn't attack directly like this oh my god it would have been the worst uh and we will in fact declare drill warrior and i'll discard a stronghold guardian sure and banish i love how he's literally holding the stronghold it's true. He just, what's the flavor behind this? Does he just toss a castle in front of you? Like, so Yu-Gi-Oh. I love this game. All right. I'll draw. Uh, that's not good enough, sadly. Uh, main one. I've got time. You have to, you only get 1,200 damage per turn, so I'm not in a rush. Until I summon the second Drill Warrior. Then I'm screwed. Then I'm just screwed. All right. We will use Drill Warrior, and we will add back... Oh, I have a better idea. I'm going to add back my Drill Synchron. Okay. Oops. Dueling Book will let me. Here we go. I will normal summon Drill Synchron. Sure. And I will go to battle. Okay. I will attack with my Drill Warrior into Shield Wing. Oh, no. My Shield Wing is being threatened. How dare you? And yeah. so are your life points, buddy. Drill Synchron's effect gives all my warrior monsters piercing. Oh my god, this thing has an actual effect. Oh shit. <laughs> all of my warrior monsters now have Horn of the Phantom Beast Great. equipped to them. Uh, sure. Oh my god, and Drill Synchron doesn't even have to attack to draw the card. That's insane. Oh it's my god. It's true. <laughs> draw a Get card your card. Uh, main phase two, I'll declare Drill Warrior. Let's discard 80 Changer to banish it. Uh, and then I'll just set up acro and it's your turn. I'm so dead. This is awful. Um, I actually have a lot of cool stuff in my hand, but like, uh, I, uh I'm so dead. I, is one card even going to change this at this point? Probably not. I'm just, game three. I, get me out of here. All right, let's do it. All right, Drill Warrior bust. Drill Warrior bust. That's all it's going to be. It's whoever can get to Drill Warrior first. I'm kind of, I'm thinking about something in retrospect, but I don't want to reveal too much right now. Uh, best oh, of this luck, hand is interesting. buddy. I will go to main one. Fascinating one. I agree, but I will start with a humble T set and pass. Go ahead. I'm shocked, I tell you. Let's yeah. draw for turn. Oh my God, the best card in my deck. Your 1500 normal summon? That's actually the real best card in my deck. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is not that. Normal summon, second boost. Sure. <laughs> Battle phase, let's attack in. It let's see my what you got. Shield wing. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> and unless your second booster has a third set of attacks, then it looks like my shield wing is not going anywhere. I'll pass. Draw. Uh, this is still. Awful. Main one. I guess I'll try for it. Dash warrior. <laughs> Hit in. Would you like to proceed to the damage step? Not really, but sure. <laughs> Blind spot strike targeting shield wing. Sure. So I, you go to 19 to my 18. Yep. So I take 100. All right. Well, go ahead. Draw for turn. Hell yeah. Off the top. Let's drill go. Drill Fuck, no. Hell yeah. We're, We're doing dead. it, baby. We're dead. <laughs> it's fun while it lasted. 
<laughs> yep, uh, and we will declare its effect, uh, sure. making it attack directly. I will, you know, I'll I'll attack directly. Thankfully, this is a slow two. and painful death. I do have some time. You do. I'll discard Shield Wing for its effect to banish sure. itself. All right. And it is your go. Draw. Shit. All right. This is bad. How do we deal with this? This is not good. I'm going to set one and set another right into your imperm column. Go ahead. All right. Let's draw for turn. And in the standby phase, it's important that it's in the standby phase. We're going to summon back our drill warrior and we're going to use drill warrior's effect. Sure. Uh, And we will grab back probably second booster here. Sure. That's how we're going to do it. My dueling book controls are truly the greatest piece of technology ever set to screen. Main phase one, I I guess we keep doing it. Declare Drill Warrior to attack directly. Yep. Uh, Battle phase, I will attack directly. Take 12. Uh, Main phase two, I will declare. What do I want to discard off this? Probably desperate tag. Okay. To banish. And I will set a mysterious monster past the turn. I One think time. I might have goofed here somehow. Uh, trust me, you didn't goof anything because I'm not getting anywhere anytime soon. I will be setting a card and mm-hmm. it's, it's, I think that's probably it. I cannot conceivably imagine what else I can do here. Sure, I'll just set another one. Go ahead. All right, let's draw for turn. Uh, standby phase, Drill Warrior will come back. Yes, he will. And I will add back the clock. I will add back Drill Synchron there he and is. the normal summon it. Battle phase, let's attack into the shield wing. I'll take 15. And I will draw a card. Main phase two, uh, set a back row and let's, ooh. It's funny because this is a bigger clock than just hitting me directly, doing it this way. It is. It's 300 extra damage per turn. Um, What's the danger of my leaving Drill Warrior on the board? I guess the danger is you have drawn into 80 changer plus blind spot strike. Yeah, we're, we're not, we're not fucking with that. Uh, I'm going to declare Drill Warrior, and I think we are going to send to the graveyard my hot tech out to Drill Warrior. That's true. Uh, And it is your go. One time. (gasps) You're so fucked. Oh, my God. You are so screwed. All right. What is happening? Normal Drill Synchron. Okay, here it goes. I will flip Stardust Zhao Long. Oh my god, is it happening? And I will special summon. I need to make sure I do this right. Hold on. I will special summon my card breaker by sending desperate tag to the graveyard. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> we will send Drill Synchron, Stardust Zhao Long, <laughs> Card Breaker, and Shieldworm for Stardust Dragon, triggering oh, the shit. Zhao Log in my graveyard to special itself. And Whoa, since- oh, it's happening! <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on, wait. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. Is Zhao Long the tuner? How do you summon this fucking no, thing? No, Majestic Dragon is the tuner. Oh, fuck! I don't have Majestic Dragon! I thought it's Zhao Long! Oh, my God. I fucked Let's up. go! <laughs> I read this wrong the whole time. All right, I still have Stardust Dragon. Whatever. It was still cool. You do. All right. Uh, battle. I thought I was like, oh, I did the thing. All right, kill Drill Synchron. Or will you oh, at all? I'll activate uh, power, power frame, frame targeting Drill Synchron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. All right. So you go up to 2,500 now? That is correct. All right, go ahead. All right, draw for turn. See, imagine reading Stand cards. Days. Yep. Drill Warrior comes back. And Alex, you are so fucked. I know. Because I will normal summon Dash Warrior, allowing me to gain attack points. The question is, okay, I've got a couple of options here. I might've just missed lethal. Oh, well, okay. So we're going to start, we're, we're gonna make the clock happen. Uh, I think the first move here, attack with Drill Synchron into Zhao Long for 24. 
Okay. Uh, and I will draw a card. And then... That's hilarious. <laughs> I will attack with... Oh, Zhao Long does get destroyed here. Why? Unfortunately for me. Oh, it is not destroyed! <laughs> I never read the last line of text on this! <laughs> What a shit show. I fuck. I'm so mad. So clearly I didn't read Majestic Star Dragon. I thought Majestic Dragon was Zhao Long and Zhao Long was a tuner because I had Boost Warrior. So I had the play if this was actually oh, what it was supposed no. to be. So I'm like, oh, I get to do the cool thing. And for once, because so usually, usually everyone hates me because I never do the cool thing in this show. So for once, I was going to be the hero for everyone. But imagine fucking reading and actually realizing how cards are supposed to work. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Oh my, my god. My man never watched the anime. Never watched the clearly I never watched the anime. Otherwise I would have known that this was improper. I stopped af, uh, after GX, so that's how you know I'm a fake. But wow, what a shit show. Holy that was... crap. <laughs> that was fun. I mean No it wasn't. What am I talking about? This was miserable. No. Well, fortunately, we can say goodbye to the Duelist Pack Thank episodes God. because the yeah. next thing approaching a Duelist Pack are the Legendary Collections. And Which those are, are good. Substantially better yeah. than whatever the hell this was. I can appreciate the Duelist Packs for giving us uh, the Nitro Warrior anime battle. I think that was the most fun we've ever had in this show. Yes. Uh, but I can also say fuck you to these packs for giving us Aster Phoenix. So there's that. True. Uh, they've, really, they've really balanced themselves out. No, Aster Phoenix was way worse than everything else. Every All good that has come <laughs> of the show has just had the life sucked out of it from Aster Phoenix. But... We do it oh for the fans, God. Robert. We do it for the fans. Congratulations for another win. Uh, you're Thank on a bit you. of a streak here, and uh, hopefully I can break that next episode. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Mono, Tim00x3, Cameron Smith, MBT Play Medulce, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony Starks, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Phoenix, The Immortal, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, John Tubase, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, MBT Caught Injecting His Fairy Lily, Carlos DT, Final Daddy, Valen Jackson, Hornet, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say Alpha Tribute, Ben 10, T DC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad, Matthew, Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crans, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, MBT funding the Iris with his Rothschild wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGM, BTQ, Nim Noodle, Malabrand to the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends, MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon, not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The MBT and MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! stands for Morbin Time, The Undertaker vs. Sibo and MBT, Dalton, Hunter Reed, Shrugs, IX, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Corvain, Dark Echo, TG Starman, Seamus Engage, Viso the V, Wacky Waving, Arm Failing, Fable, Two Men Selling, Crudely Painted, Not So Funny, Plywood Cut Out, Folk Art, and HatFormat.com. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.